Hello, and welcome to another episode of Utopia Restorations. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Will, and you join me in a rather empty workshop, which is quite unusual for us. And in this video, I'm going to give you a big update and explain why. So what I'm going to... So, it's all pretty messy in here at the moment, and a lot of things are being moved about. We're going through a very big change here at Utopia, which is sort of bittersweet. We've had a fantastic time here and things have needed to change. What's been going on with the market, with costs, with everything like that, I have put things a bit differently. This is part-time to me or more full-time, but I also have another full-time job as well. And things have changed and that means that the business has needed to adapt and change. And I'll be telling you what's happening. Before I explain what's happening, I think it's important to give some conclusions to some of the projects that we've had in. As you can see, the 109 that we had with the fantastic sort of silver body, the strip paint, is not here. That has gone. It's over at Vestige Customs, and they're going to be doing some really, really cool work to it. It's now part of their project, part of their team. So make sure you go check them out on Instagram. I'll drop it down below and see what that project is getting up to. My Mustang as well, no longer here. That's gone. That's over at Mustang Holics up in Chipping North which is a fantastic team and a very cool project. So they're gonna get cracking on that. Hopefully next time you see it on the channel, it'll be a bit further along and a bit more progressed and maybe even drivable, which is gonna be really, really exciting. So hopefully that could be ready for the summer, be out and about with it, going to some shows. The MX-5 and 110 is still here. MX-5 is going in storage for the winter. And then I think in the summer, this will be properly up for sale. Um, yeah, I don't really wanna sell it but I do have quite a few cars, and with the recent new addition to the garage, which will be next week's video, yeah, it may be time for this to go. This one's still here, here we see it's still here to stay forever. Um, I was doing some trailering with it, so the trailer was on the back, taking the Mustang, dropped the Mustang off, driving back, and I had a big, big lock up on it on Sunday, which was a very, very big brown pants moment. Um, yeah, big lock up, big skid, but all good. So, um, yeah, may look at maybe getting ABS retrofitted to it. KLK is still here, unfortunately, waiting for its new engine. So that's going to be heading off to get an engine swap. Um, and yeah, getting 200 TDI, which would be very cool. And we have the 110 here. This will be leaving us soon. This is going to Mustang Holics. James is having it. So a project for a project. He's got my Mustang and he's going to be having another project one of a 110 with the chassis as well, which I think will be fantastic. And he does amazing work. So interesting to see what he does with that. Beloved Aloy is here and here to stay. Just trying to get the running going correctly, having a bit of a bit of an issue, a bit of a flat spot, a bit choppy, a bit smoky. So trying to get Aloy happy, hopefully drive her to uh, somewhere else where she can go into storage for a bit as well, particularly with a lovely new Exmoor roof. I want to be keeping that beautiful. But XR is actually going today. Chap's coming down from Manchester to come collect this. So yes, be sad to see this one go. Personal favourite, but time for a new home. Series one is off as well. So that is going to be leaving us hopefully the end of this week and off to another Land Rover specialist and restorer. Yeah, another project for them to enjoy. The Honda is gonna be sticking about for a moment. Um, depends what we do with this really. I do love this bike. I think it's beautiful. Would love it as a lounge bike. However, my lounge and my house doesn't fully permit motorbikes. We've still got the Boltaco, which is usually there, but it's currently having an engine rebuild. So that should be back soon, hopefully for Christmas. So yeah, this one will be sticking around, maybe going to auction next year. Depends, wait and see. But I can hear you asking, why is everything being cleared out and why are so many of the cars going to different places? Well, unfortunately, our time at these two beautiful and wonderful units is up. We are moving. I'll introduce the new place in another video, possibly not very soon, but sort of maybe around sort of February, March time, with a full explanation as to why we moved there and what's been going on in the renovations of the new place. The reason for our move, been very supportive of everyone buying our things online store having restorations in, buying projects and selling things, which have been fantastic. But like I say, I've got two jobs at the moment and this place is wonderful. As you can tell, both units are quite large and therefore is a large expense for me. With the recent changes that we've had in costs with things like sort of motor trade and things around insurances, um, some of the things have just meant that I've needed to maybe refocus on what's been happening with the market as well with cars. As some of you know, and you're all Land Rover fans, the bubble has burst and things are very much on the down which of course is good for if you're purchasing, but not very good for if you're selling. So yes, essentially it is the end of an era for Utopia, being here, being in this facility and being in the form that it is currently. However, it is most definitely not the end for Utopia by any means. So like I say, I'll show you the new unit when we're ready to show it to you, but for the moment it's the end of the era here. 
what does that really mean? Well, we're still gonna be filming cars, we're still gonna be working on our own cars, we've still got the online shop that you can check out, and we are still possibly doing customer work for the right one. Odin is now one of mine, which is fantastic news. So this is gonna be a project that we're gonna be working on and showing you a lot of that. Plan to go in with Joel at Resto Rovers to get a lot of work done with it and get him moving along. But I just think it looks fantastic with the top of the bulkhead off and no windscreen. It looks like a little miniature tank, I'll be honest. So yeah, this is a really cool project that I'm really excited to get started on, along with some of our other ones that we've got, our new car reveal that is coming next week. That's one of our new projects. Aloy, of course, the Mustang. We've still got loads of things to get cracking on with. And yeah, getting out there and enjoying the cars. Well, what does it mean for you on YouTube? You'll still be getting weekly content. You'll still be getting all the interesting stuff. And we'll just be focusing on ours and also getting back out there and enjoying cars. It's been fantastic and been an absolute privilege to work on cars in this sense where I've had my own workshop and helped many other customers and many cars along. But what's happened is a passion has become a job and quite easily you can get a bit bored of Land Rovers and get a bit bored of working on them. And I still love them, I still plan to work on them, but I want to get a bit more of that joy back and a bit more of the excitement and interest in cars. Therefore, this year, 2024, my plan is just to go to as many shows as possible. Starting off in January, we're going to Bist Heritage to Scramble. I won't be taking this, of course, but I will be taking something else. Depends what it is and depends what's running at the time, but something very cool will be there. So yeah, the plan is just to get out there, enjoy cars, and make sure I'm enjoying my ones and enjoying the community and building the community as well. So that's a bit of a big project update. It is unfortunately quite a bit of sweet moment. I've really enjoyed our units here. They're fantastic spaces you can see by this one. I've really enjoyed the meets that we've had and everyone that's come down to see them and see the projects and the cars. I've got a lot of work to do, moving a lot of cars about. So these ones need to go, the ones next door need to go, and I need to get everything packed and moved. So it is a rather big job. I just want to say thank you to everyone for their support over the years and the continued support. We are still going. We've got many more things to launch in the shop, many more themes, many more of our project cars, more clothing, more accessories, anything and everything Land Rover. Hopefully trying to do some stuff that's different as well that you can't find anywhere else. So yeah, make sure you always check that out. And it's been an absolute pleasure. But this is the end of the era for this. We've had our last meet here. We're going to be moving out by Christmas. And in January, we'll be in the new place. And I'll be showing you that and showing what's happening with projects and what is our plan for Utopia in 2024. So thank you very much for watching. As always, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you next week in the next video.